Have you ever wished you had ESP, maybe to know what job you're supposed to do, or maybe be able to find the best business to get into? <laughs> you're going to like this show. Let's talk remote viewing. Do you want to do what you want? Do you want better money? Welcome to Dream Job Radio. Hi, this is Daniel Laxtons, and you're listening to the Dream Job Radio Show. Now, today is an interesting subject. I'm talking about remote viewing. Have you ever heard of this before? My special guest is Todd Ronan. Now, Todd Ronan has been in remote viewing for over 20 years, and he's taken several different types of classes and training on remote viewing. And he developed his own program. It's a very specific type. It's quicker than all the other ones out there. It's called TAP. T-A-P-P -P. stands for Temporal Awareness Perception Program or Temporal Awareness Perception Process. So it's very interesting. If you haven't heard about remote viewing, uh, I only discovered it in the, uh, on the news one time where they're talking about the military using psychic spies. You may have even seen that movie uh, that talks about men that scare, uh, stare at goats with George Clooney. And that's based upon a real thing. So if you're kind of interested in this sort of thing, you're going to love my special guest. So let's look in to my interview with Todd Ronan. All right. My special guest is uh, Todd Ronan. He goes by Ronan, <laughs> but uh, we got a lot to learn. And this is such a fascinating subject. So Todd, I want to welcome to the show for, for one. Welcome to the show, buddy. Hey, thank you very much, Daniel. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And uh I'm excited to be here. Yeah, I'm stoked about this. You know, I, I didn't learn about this whole subject until maybe maybe eight years ago. And I was I was listening to a talk show out in the middle of West Texas, driving my car, and they were interviewing a college professor uh, on NPR. And he was talking about that he was a part of the remote viewing project there in the early 70s. And I was just blown away. I'm like going, what? ESP is real? You know, I, I came from a religious background, but my question, I mean, it's so exciting, but my question is, how did you get involved in remote viewing? Well, it started a long time ago. So I've been interested in the field of remote viewing since probably the late 90s. And I've been practicing doing it myself since 2002. So now 20 years. And I teach people how to do it for themselves because there are a lot of different methods that were around. But I heard Joe McMonigal. He's the guy that used to work for the military uh, labeled Remote Viewer 001. He was on Nightline in 19, I think it was 95 or 96. I can pull up the clip. And he was talking about the military that had this psychic spy program. Well, I've always been interested in psychic stuff and psychic awareness and intuition. So it really, no. <laughs> it really, you know, piqued my interest. And I found some online training groups that were able to teach it in the early 2000s and went and learned from one of the, the uh, educators that was working with the military. Uh, learned his method, but I thought there's there are other teachers that teach this. So what are they teaching that I don't know? You know, I didn't want to be pigeonholed into just knowing one method. So I went to all the teachers and tried to learn what it was that they were teaching and get sort of a better experience, a whole rounded experience as to the process. So I've adapted probably like five different teachers and I teach my own method that's called TAP which is an evolution of remote viewing because remote viewing came out in the seventies, but now we're in 2020, that was 50 years ago. So the evolution of remote viewing is called TAP or temporal awareness perception process. And that's what I teach, which is an amalgam of all those other trainers and things I've learned over the last 20 years. That is amazing. Now, just to bring listeners up to speed and to unpack this a little bit, first of all, a lot of people that do know about remote viewing, they probably just thought, well, there's only one way of doing it. You just close your eyes or whatever and write stuff down on a piece of paper. And they think that there's only one way of doing it. So, but before we get into that, maybe we should kind of define a little bit more in depth what we're talking about. What is remote viewing? So the process of remote viewing is to perceive information at a site where you're not. So you're able to gather information and data about a site where your physical body is not just by perceiving it. 
So there is not, it's not a meditative state. It's not an out of body experience. It's not a, a channeling experience. It's a, done with your eyes open. So it's a, a heightened awareness state, but you're almost like a psychic stenographer. You're reporting what you perceive at that site through a series of templates about that site. You're sketching pictures, you're recording data, you're reporting information. And over the course of 20 or 30 or 40 minutes, you'll have a pretty accurate representation of what your target site is. That could be a person, a place, a thing, an object, but it doesn't matter where it is or what it is. And the other thing about remote viewing is you can perceive outside of time and space. So your awareness sort of you have a hyper awareness of an object. So if I were to tell you the next place that you will live, I could sketch what that place looks like, even though it hasn't happened yet. Wow. So now another question someone's asking is that, do you have to be born in some sort of family line where, <laughs> where you have skill sets that, that are you know dormant within you to develop this? Or, you know, a lot of people may wonder, well, you know, because you have to be a psychic then to, to be able to do this. Well, you don't have to be psychic. We all have an innate psychic awareness or we have a process of discernment that we don't listen to. So what we try to teach in the course is how to access those levels of discernment, those levels of awareness. And if you follow the steps and park your imagination, you can have as good your, your data can be as good as people that have trained for 10 or 15 years. It's just, following those steps. There's no, you don't have to be psychic. You don't have to be a telepath in order to do this. It's an innate ability that all earthling people have, they can do. That is incredible. So that does mean, so you, the listener right now, uh, you can actually learn remote viewing, which means that you are tapping into your um, inherent psychic ability uh, because you actually are, I mean, we all, all of us are receiving information from the universe constantly. We're all tapped in. The only thing is the experience that we're having on planet earth is, well, it's kind of fun. So to not remember who you are makes the experience more enjoyable or more enjoyable, like a roller coaster ride, so to speak. Right. Oh yeah. Well, we do live in a roller coaster ride. Remote viewing is not going to provide you access to like a past life, but I do have another process where you can, learn more about that. It's more of like a, it's called consciousness transformation technique, where I walk you through the steps in order for you to see that past life, where you have a, 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 a someone that you're working with, that they can see your past life and tell you about it. Uh, we all cap, we, we all have trauma that we keep with us and it, it continues with us through this life and from past lives, but because we don't really perceive what happened in past lives or years gone by or decades gone by or centuries or millennia gone by, we still have that trap within our energy field or, you know, the, it's not an auric field or aura because the energy field around you that you continue to incarnate with is the same one you had a long time ago. So that there are traumas there, there are scars there. And through the CTT or contest of transformation technique, we can help you heal and remove those traumas that might be preventing you from evolving in this lifetime. That's incredible. Isn't that funny? Cause I mean, why do we have to have all these traumas? Uh, it's kind of funny because I always see life as we're explorers. We're trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work. And, and, you know, a child, you know, why we all should have tons of trauma from learning to walk as a, a toddler. <laughs> you know, it's like we fall down, scrape our knees. And then later on in life, we're like going, I can't believe I fell down and scraped my knees. I need help with my trauma. I mean, what, what is this? It's like, isn't life all about just exploring why it's like my mom and dad beat me. Well, they did their parents beat them too. And they're great all the way back in time. These apes were beating the other apes. <laughs> you know, that's where we came from. So how can we get over this trauma stuff and start living life to the fullest? Well, it's, it's a multi tiered answer. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, the first step is to realize it doesn't affect you now. You can, you can really just evolve and accept that you are now who you are and remove that trauma with either the CTT method or by identifying those things. But it's, it's becoming less and less traumatic uh, for people to, let me rephrase that. It's becoming more traumatic for people 
in this day and age because we have so many stimuli that are affecting us. So now with a Telegram channel, with a Signal channel, with a Slack channel, I have access to 30,000 people that are sending me information and data streams every day. And I'm, I'm being bombarded by those data streams. Well, when you're remote viewing, you're only accessing one information stream and that's your own source, your source information or the higher self, your higher mind. And that is the most true form of information that you can perceive because it knows you more than any other source or data source out there. So you have to divorce yourself from all those like notifications and all those bells and all those whistles that are coming through when you're doing a remote viewing session because they're, they're not important and they're extraneous. You rely on your own, your own knowledge and your own self-knowing, and that's the best way to evolve yourself doing the remote viewing process and to recognize when those traumas are affecting you through the CTT process, we can identify that. And then we help we heal those traumas and we help you grow and be a better person and remove the sort of the blockages that you might have in this life. Because we all have blockages that stem from either the life we were born into now or from past lives. And that's the first pill to swallow is that we have had past lives. That's a, that's a tough one for a lot of people, but it's when you... I didn't believe it either. You know, I've gone through a big evolutionary belief process in the last 25 years myself. I used to think I knew everything. And so I think another part is that we have to adapt and realize our ego doesn't know everything. And we have to check that and just allow the information to come and trust it. That's what happened to me. I, I, you know, I mean, you always hear stories. I remember even hearing like Chevy Chase, you know, his family were involved in seances and all these things, channeling information. But, you know, I mean, I grew up very religious. And then uh, when I left organized religion because of things that did not set right with my conscience, what they were doing, some people, not everyone, you know. But the point is, is uh, it wasn't until I was listening to the news and I heard that America has been using psychic spies since the 70s and the Russians were doing it before us. And that this is real as a college professor from UT right here in Austin. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. This is real. And then I looked into it. I'm like, it really is. It's all documented proof. Uh, they have so much evidence. And then I, I got to read other things, too. Uh, there's there's several scientists that have studied uh, psychic uh, things like this, magic, what, you know, not the hocus pocus stuff that we know from the, the stories, but literal magic when, when it comes to like the uh, the yogis or maybe the Buddhist priests blessing water. And then when you find out that if you do talk to water and say, you're good water, you're delicious water, it works. I mean, you're programming it with your mental energy because we all function on off of energy. So I was blown away. So if anyone's listening to the show, you know, that you're listening to the dream job radio show. And my special guest is Todd Ronan. Uh, you can call him Ronan. <laughs> And what we're talking about is uh, psychic spying or remote viewing. And the reason why I brought him on the show, because I thought, one, it expands our mind. The more we expand our mind, uh, the more we can achieve our dream job, which most of our my listeners, most of the listeners on a dream job radio show are wanting to uh, start their own business. They want they want a better life. And when you and I were talking, I thought, man, this might be a good idea to have you on the podcast because, you know, that's how we grow is to expand ourselves by going beyond what we, our belief systems are. are. And so I thought this was going to be good. So I'm, I'm hoping everyone listening to the show is enjoying this so far. Thank you very much. Yeah. If you want to get a hold of me, you can email remoteviewit at gmail.com. Uh, also working on my website, which is remoteviewit.com and realityforecast.com, uh, where we're trying to give you a snapshot of what's coming in the weeks and months ahead, sort of as a predictor of what you should invest in to help your, your business grow. And I also teach courses on my Evolve Remote Viewing Method TAP. It's called Temporal Awareness Process, Temporal Awareness Perception Process, which is a six-week, 24-hour course. Uh, it's live on Zoom. It meets four hours a week, and there's homework to do. And That's a homework. I also teach courses on, go ahead. I said lots of homework. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. You've taken the course. Thank you very much. Uh, there's, I offer courses on discernment, on exopolitics, on self-exploration, 
and telepathy. And I'm working on a course on astrotheology, but I don't have that skill set yet. Um, but I'm just trying to learn it and exopolitics. So, would you say it's kind of like when you know learning a sport, it, it, learning to play golf? It, you have to know where to put your head, so to speak. You know, in golfing, you can't. You know, if you uh, if you put your head down or whatever, if you move your head, the ball's not going to go straight. So, it, it, is this a skill that it just takes time, like sports or anything else? Learning to write, learning to yeah, read. it's definitely a skill set. And I say, when you remote viewing, it takes you a couple hundred sessions of dedication uh, to get better at it. And then your skill level sort of falls off. It plateaus and people, a lot of people think, oh, I'm never going to get better I'm through them. Done with this. I'm not going to do it anymore, but you have to work through that Valley. And then your skills will sort of peak and crest at a point where 80, 85% of your data is on point and accurate with what it is that you're trying to perceive. So in remote viewing, you never know what you're viewing. You're only recording the data. And then you look at the feedback, you look at the photo, you look at the cue and say, Oh, I can see where, where I was right, I can see where I was wrong in that, but it does take that skill set to develop it. I mean, you can't be, you can't sit down and say I'm a professional hockey player or I'm a professional piano player. All that takes time, all that takes dedication, and you have to sort of learn those muscles in your brain and create those dendritic connections to make sure that you're you're recording the data accurately. So. Um... Do you think that there's an application here for those that are maybe job seekers or uh, someone that's wanting to start their own business, or maybe they're an entrepreneur that's listening to the show? Um, is there an application for remote viewing for those people? I think so. Yeah. In fact, what I'd like to do for your listeners, Daniel, is uh, I'll do like a 15 minute remote viewing session for them. If they're seeking a new job, I can do like a uh, remote viewing session for them, give them an idea of what that job would be. Now, I won't be able to name it for them. I won't be able to say go in this path, but I can sketch and I can give you accurate inf- or give them accurate information about what that would be. And so then when they look at it, they'll say, oh, well, this is what it means because it'll make sense to them, but it's not going to make a hill of bean sense to me. Um, <laughs> but if they want to email me, remoteview it at gmail.com, the only thing I'll need is probably your full name and that's it. And oh, fun thing. Uh, I'll have to change the queue because when remote viewers now look at your name, optimum job, what they're finding is it's a job that you're doing around the house. Because after COVID, so many of us are now just at home doing stuff, working from home, that the, the matrix or the universal unconscious has determined that your job is to paint the front door. So go do that. But that's not going to be your vocation. So what we'll look at or what my team will look at is we'll do a 15 minute session for your listenership and we'll give them like a, let's do it for the first uh, 20 people that email me because I don't, it'll take me 15 minutes or so. So if you're one of the first 20 people, I'll do a free job promote viewing optimum vocation session for you. And you can give me some feedback when you find that job and let me know if it was accurate. But yeah, it's incredible what, what you've done. I mean, the things that I've learned from you. Should we tell them how you you and I met? Oh, sure. So I was doing a optimum vocation trajectory on myself. And I sketched data that I didn't really understand. I was sketching this machinery, this tumbling machinery, things that were like uh, carving out husks and plant material and plant sterols. And I actually sketched the, uh, uh, the chemical compound structure of cannabidiol. And so I met Daniel, who was working with a company here in Austin. That I'm a was, founder of, and I was the chief science officer of. So, <laughs> And I showed him this data and I said, does this look like cannabidiol to you? And he said, yeah, that's a short path distillation machine. And so the matrix was telling me that I should go into short path distillation extraction sales uh, so I went to a couple of different places, found a couple of jobs, see who was hiring. And that has about a three to six month shelf life. So if you don't act on the data that I send to you within three months, it's going to shift and it's going to change. And because I had another situation that came up with a family member and my current job, I wasn't able to act on that. But uh, that's how I met Daniel through a remote viewing session and ended up uh, in the CBD industry. Yeah, that was amazing. No, and that's uh, and it was a a great friendship that we developed since then. So, but that, this is awesome. So if you, if you feel like this is something that you are very interested in, uh, once again, Ronan, how do they find you? Uh, well, you can email me just remote view it at gmail.com. That's really the best way. Just say, Hey Todd, here's my name. What job should I do? 
that's all you need. Yeah. So uh, check that out. If you're interested in my course, also, that's uh, it's going to start July 17th, I think. It's flexible within about a week. But and it's around and July 17th, the new six week course for 24 hours, it's going to be only $555. And there are offer installment plans for that. Other courses are twice that. And they don't give you as much information. They don't give you as much as I give you. But I'm always accessible to students if they want to ask me questions after hours. I make myself available. And it's all recorded on Zoom. So if you can't attend at uh, 7 p.m. Central to 9 p.m. Central, you can just watch as a rebroadcast. That's awesome. Hey, Ronan, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much, Daniel. It's great seeing you. And uh, thank you very much to all your listeners. I appreciate it. And I look forward to hearing from all of you. Thanks. So that was my special interview with Todd Ronan. And that is amazing. I don't know if you're blown away by this sort of stuff. It's kind of out there, but let's face it, when it comes to uh, our jobs, trying to find a specific job, or if we're trying to start a business, you know, you want to tap into your, your abilities within you. You know, if you're going to start a business, you definitely want to use the abilities that you're good at. You wouldn't start a business in something that you have no skill set in. And if you do have a passion for a specific type of job, then you'd want to develop the skills in that. That's why we go to school. That's why maybe we take an extra class to learn how to do specific things. And so this remote viewing is pretty much very similar to that. And, you know, sometimes we're afraid because we, it seems kind of different, uh, but this is pretty neat, uh, remote viewing. And if you want to find Ronan, remember he said it's remote view. It's easy to find if you're looking at Facebook. You can find him on the Patreon is where I found him. But if you type Todd's name is spelled R-O-N-A. That's it. I hope this has been an encouraging show for you. I'm so happy that you're listening to this podcast and we do have other things coming up. If you haven't checked out my TikTok if you like positivity and higher levels of law of attraction, uh, go ahead and check out my TikTok. Now, my last name is spelled L-A-K-S-T-I-N-S. Check out my TikTok. It's growing pretty fast. And I, I do at least three videos there a day. And I'm working really hard to have more videos here on YouTube too. So whether you're listening to the show uh, through your app or on YouTube, we just wanna say thank you so much for your support. And I have more things coming your way. So keep checking back as we will encourage you to have the best dream job of your life. I'll see you next time on the Dream Job Radio Show.